Evie and Katie, and we've got some massive news to share with you guys, which you already know because you've read the title of this video. But we haven't said this on YouTube before. So I'm very fearful of how real it's going to become. Go on, say it. <laughs> We are going on a grand tour of Europe to see 80s at every single one of their Europe tour stops. Every single one! <laughs> oh my god. Are we insane? Yeah. Let's just get that elephant in the room out the way. Are we mentally stable? No. Obviously, we're going to be vlogging like everything from start to finish. So if you haven't already subscribed and you're an 18 -y, Please do subscribe and follow us on this journey because it's literally the most exciting thing we're, we've ever done. Yeah, like um, if you guys have seen the London vlog, just that times seven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be insane. And also like if you're not an 18 sorry in advance. Yeah, apologies to everyone that subscribes that doesn't care about 80s, but we do. So. <laughs> you guys probably have a lot of questions, so we're going to like roll it back. Um, like what, where, when, where, how, why, all the double use. Double use. Um, first of all, why, which is a really good question. <laughs> <laughs> the second we left the second day of the 80s concert in London, I think we knew that for the next tour, we wanted to go to multiple stops. We left and we were literally like, okay, how do we go to Paris? It's over, we're done seeing 80s. How do we get to Paris? <laughs> One stop wasn't enough. <laughs> And to be honest, I think we're going to get to the end of this tour. I don't think we're going to be like, well, I'm done with 80s now. We're either never going to want to even hear the word 80s <laughs> ever again. Oh no, or... what are we doing? What if we end up hating them? Is this like exposure therapy? <laughs> like when you're trying to conquer a fear? Are we going to be really over it? <laughs> we didn't know we'd be able to get tickets for every single show. We just knew we wanted to go to multiple. So it's crazy. The other reason why is because in all our 26 years of living, both of us haven't actually really done that much traveling, um, especially to a lot of these cities. It's gonna be so many different languages, so much different like food, different I'm, feelings to the city. The main thing I'm excited about is the food. Same. <laughs> looking on TikTok uh, are like things to do, yeah. but really I'm looking up cafes. Restaurants, and cafes, restaurants. yeah. And if anyone would like to be our tour guide for the day in any of the cities, please send us a message. If we're left to our own devices, we will just like eat a lot of waffles which is fine it's fine but, but we'd like some guidance so any recommendations for any of the cities yes yeah drop yes. them yes. below yes. and another thing from a journalistic perspective mm. we're really really interested to see just how like how the audience feels in different cities yeah. how 80s kind of perform differently in different yeah. cities yeah how like just, maybe their energy goes up yeah there. and like i think it's just gonna be really interesting like seeing the whole tour from start to finish from a first-hand perspective got way more into music journalism as we've had this channel for so many different years so many different years <laughs> but the years have all been, they have all been different <laughs> so like we want to keep growing that side of what we do as well and also from the perspective of like touring basically we're going to be kind of living like 80s minus the very strenuous <laughs> choreo i've always wondered like how insane is that experience yeah. like we're going to find out how tiresome it is and to be honest we're only getting like the half of it compared to what they have i think it's going to be a roller coaster so if you want to watch us have multiple breakdowns definitely tune into the vlog series <laughs> like and subscribe <laughs> how good question that's a great all great good question. questions mm. and let's go through the ticketing day prior to that yeah. was like signing up for all of the pre-sales we like, made alone. we made a spreadsheet it's stressful enough if you're trying to get tickets for one show which you know we experienced last time and this time it was you know seven concerts between two of us trying to get all of them it was a lot of signing up, a lot of spam emails. A lot of um, translating from like Dutch oh to God, yeah. English and being like, I don't know what's happening. I don't. We tried to stay calm because we knew that like every um, country had three pre-sales at least. So we were like, okay, we're trying to get all seven dates. We also knew that we really wanted to get alt VIP for London. Actually, above everything, that was our main priority was trying to get London first. But it turns out that we just got all the tickets in 
the at and &E sale. We were so, so lucky with getting through the queues. It just, they the just right began time. and just one opened straight away. I can't remember which one. We got it and then we'd finish buying that one and then another one for a different country would suddenly go on and we'd be like, oh, well, I've got this one now. Yeah. And it was literally just like the K-pop overlords mm. were just like, okay, mm. the golden rule is don't go on Twitter until you've like finished your process. Yeah. We went on and it turns out that it was actually like mayhem. Yeah. For a lot of people. All we can say is we feel very, very lucky. Yeah. And like we appreciate that it's like ridiculously lucky that we yeah. managed to get. No, I've, I've never felt you. luckier. We so did spend, great. to be fair, the entire day before praying to the full moon. <laughs> <laughs> that may have influenced things, but I don't know. I think it's quite an 18 y thing to like vibe with the moon. Yeah. To be fair. One day it's going to turn out that they're werewolves. We thought what? vampires all along, but then it turns out they're actually werewolves. You think they're the well, yeah, but vampires are related to the moon as well. Are they? Yeah, like night time. They can't go out in the sun, can they? So, And if you want more lore discourse, don't forget to subscribe and follow our vlogs. People are going to have way more insight into our daily lives than usual because it, usually we're just at work 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, and then we do our other weird stuff and we show you that. But this is going to be like, you're just going to see everything. Yeah. And you are going to be scared and we're sorry. <laughs> Not a single person that follows us understands how much we talk about 80s law yeah like it's concerning a few other things that you're probably thinking yeah but like how number one in terms of doing this for a month you're probably thinking like do you have jobs yes we do <laughs> we both have nine to five jobs that very 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 luckily we're able to do remotely so thank you to our employers thanks you guys. did best we're gonna be doing that like most of the time to be honest we have like one day in each city where we'll sightsee and then we have the concerts in the evenings um but for the rest of it we're basically working money from the jobs um it, it was a lot are we gonna be in debt for the rest of the year yes yeah. is it worth it yeah we shouldn't really encourage our viewers to make poor financial decisions no 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 so live through us live through us yeah do not spend. We are making this mistake so you don't have to. <laughs> we both spent like individually thousands. If you guys want full transparency, we could show how much it will cost at the end. <laughs> if you're like curious about how much how it would cost you to do the same thing, I guess. Yeah. We're being sensible in that we have ways and means and money coming in. Mm. We've been scrimping, we've been saving. Yeah. Part of the reason that we moved out of our shared flat was to have a little bit of extra hopefully in prep for this and i've done nothing this month like yeah. nothing but to be fair that's the same as <laughs> we want to stress that like this isn't just like the norm for us this is a once in a lifetime thing we're probably not ever going to do it again we're treating ourselves yeah to something very very special that we will remember for the rest of our lives yeah the last 80s concert where we were front row mm. <laughs> was the best day of my life i'm not being funny it was no, the best true. day of my life it's true and i want to try and replicate that mm. seven times exactly yeah what what, what are we doing <laughs> good question <laughs> obviously we want to like bring you guys on the journey so we're going to be releasing concert vlogs which if you've seen our london one <laughs> It'll be very similar to that. A little bit of like us traveling in there as well, but mainly 80s concert goodness. All of those vlogs, we're gonna have one for each stop and they'll come out three days after the concert. Although, if you want early access, people on Patreon are gonna get it the day before. So yes, if you want to join our Patreon just for the month of February, then you can check out the link to join us there. We're also obviously going to be posting like loads of stories on our Instagram. So we'll also give you access to like our close friends list and stuff. So you get a little bit of extra, extra content there over on Patreon too. It'll and just be like no makeup shots of us crying. After yeah, the no, that's what I'm imagining. <laughs> if you want to see breakdowns in real time, go and join us on Patreon. There's also going to be an extra little gift, but we'll, we'll come to that. In a second. We're gonna do a travel series that's gonna come out in May for each of the stops as well. We're gonna try and build up tips and tricks for fellow K-pop fans that might be going to any of these cities. 
in terms of like things you can do that K-pop fans in particular would like. The cup sleeve events are organized there or there's like a Korean restaurant that's really good or a K-pop shop, things like that. The best hotels to stay in depending on your budget, how to get to the venues that K-pop concerts are typically at. We're trying to give you guys loads and loads of super like fun, useful stuff. Yay! And if you prefer like written words of poetry, we'll also have stuff on our website as well. How you doing? Dot com. com. But that's not all, because we also have a very, very exciting collaboration with this tour. We reached out to this app called Fave. They love a teeny, and we're gonna tell you a lot more about them tomorrow because you guys are gonna love it so much. Everything they stand for is a dream for a teeny. And there's a little sneak peek into what's coming tomorrow. Obviously, we're gonna give you way more info then, but we've organized a little fan project. Um, so we're gonna be giving out some little mementos while we're out and about journeying, touring the whole of Europe. They will also be available for people that can't make it online. And also, as I mentioned before, to people that signed up to our Patreon this month. So everyone's involved. Everyone and we're so excited to share more about it because it's you guys are gonna love it you guys are gonna love it so much so look out for that video tomorrow that's pretty much wraps everything up guys it feels so good to get this off our chests <laughs> we're so excited to meet so many of you we met so many people in london and we're hoping we can do the same around europe so if anyone wants to hang out <laughs> shoot us a message because we're gonna be lonely yeah if you're not making it to the tour but you're gonna follow along with our vlogs then we'd love to hear your thoughts down below mm -hmm. We hope you're as excited as we are and we're gonna be bringing you so much content because we get that this is an insane opportunity that we have and we're so grateful and want to give as much back as we can at the same time. Yes. We're so excited! <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon!